Well, my name is Big J Yaba, and welcome back to Eva or um, another one of the uh, .io games. And it's basically, would you rather do this or do that? So let's get into it. Living in a tree house or floating boat house? Boat house for me. I like being on the water. Okay, lose an iron hand or lose an ear, leg and an ear. Hmm, iron hand, leg and ear. I think I'd rather lose a leg and an ear, but I don't know why. Wow, big difference. Okay, would you rather poop rainbows or vomit rainbows? Vomit rainbows or poop rainbows? I'd rather vomit rainbows. That way you can do it. You haven't got to take your trousers off. You can just do it randomly whenever you want or whatever. Uh, would you rather drink five ounces of vodka by nose? What? What do you mean by nose? Or hot sauce? I'd rather go vodka because I prefer vodka to hot sauce. And that. These need to be more challenging. Uh, over, would you rather overdose on every drug at the same time or fall off a hundred story building? I'd rather fall off a hundred story building because there's no reason why you wouldn't have a parachute. Overdosing on drugs just don't sound good, but falling off a hundred story building. You could survive that with a parachute. Come on, click it. Lovely. Oh, is it meant less? Overdose on every drug at the same time. That's weird. Oh well. You know, too much caffeine, too much paracetamol. Yeah. Would you rather be popular but unintelligent or an antisocial genius? I'd rather be popular but and unintelligent because people say it's who you know and what you know, so I'd rather do that. Really? Okay. 66% of people would rather be antisocial. Oh, Ariel. She's fit. She's a redhead. Ariel, hands down. That's a good film, that is. Cinderella, she's just that standard, standard princess, but everyone's a mermaid. Would you rather be painted for Van Gogh or for Da Vinci? But da Vinci's a legend, He's, he didn't just do paintings, he did that engineering as well and that science. So he's pretty damn clever. Would you rather be killed in a storm, maybe? Oh no! Oh, this is a good one! Oh no! Because I hate both of these films. Oh no! Oh, I mean, I hardly watch either of his films because I don't like it. They're both brutal, disgusting, cringeworthy deaths in either film. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what, uh, this is a real finger. Uh, um, I think I'd rather be killed uh, in a Final Destination movie because you wouldn't know it's happening. Like, in a Saw movie, you're kind of put into a situation and you know you've got to go through a lot of pain to try and get out of it, and trying to get out of it, your chances are pretty slim. But Final Destination movie, you've got some crazy dude just said, oh, you know, we just survived death, you know, we might die. I'd be cautious, but I wouldn't know when it's happened. But no. So, one of them, um, some girl got decapitated by a tire in the fifth one. So quick and painless by the looks of it. Another one got a spanner through the head, quick and painless. Some of them are quite slow and brutal, so I'd rather do this just because of the chance of it being quick and painless. Yeah, people know what I'm talking about. Ugh, it's just, I hate that. I just, it just doesn't work for me. Freeze to death or boil to death? I'd rather freeze to death because you'd go numb and you'd kind of fall asleep, but boiling to death is hot. Yeah, people know, people agree with me. 87, that's quite a big difference. I think that's the biggest I've ever seen. And uh, on a beautiful sunny day, would you rather lie in the grass and read a book or stay inside? Lie in the grass and read a book. If, oh, I don't know about you guys, but I feel so free when I do that. I mean, you could be in a. That field of grass could be anywhere in the world. Stay inside and watch TV. You can do that every day. But you can't lie in the grass and read a book on a sunny day. I'm from England, we don't get sun marks. Pain or annoyance, would you rather get a paper cut on your hand once a week or have one foot full asleep every third hour? Wait, hold on. Have one foot full asleep every third hour of 30 minutes. I'd rather get a paper cut because this is consistent. That's got to be annoying, but a paper cut, you don't know when it's going to happen. And it's not that bad. You can, you'd learn to live with the pain, I reckon. You'd get used to it. And uh, Would you rather work at McDonald's or work at Burger King? I'd rather work at Burger King, so I actually like the food at Burger King, and I think more people go to McDonald's, so you get less customers from Burger King. Because every night after clubbing on Wednesday at uni, we go to McDonald's, because it's the only place that open until 3am. It's got to be hectic in there at that time. 
I can tell you right now, it's gotta be hectic. Like, would you rather find a book about everything about the past or find a book about everything about the future? Find a book about ever oh, I don't know, everything about the future, because that way, if you know what's gonna happen, you can make money on it. Like, if you know what stocks are gonna do well, you can put money on it. You can put money on horses. You can, you just know what happened. Like, if you know if like, there's gonna be a tsunami in the US, you can just stay away from the US. Or, you know, keep away from, you know, Africa because of the Ebola virus if you know it's gonna happen. It could work to your advantage. Would you rather have the ability to pull out of your pockets the exact change needed for any purchase, or have the ability to discreetly read minds? I'd rather, oh, I'd rather the change. That's so cool. Be right back. There it is. I don't even need to count it. It's the right change. That's, that's just so cool. Really, people would rather discreetly read minds. See, if you read minds, you know what people are thinking about you, for example, and they may not like you. Would you rather believe your friends like you or know exactly what your friends think? It's pretty much the same question as what we just had, so... Well, I believe my friends like me right now, so... You know? And uh, there are some people who do actually like me, though. And I, I know one guy. We were talking to him on Facebook earlier. He's a good lad. But, would you rather have a personal self or personal masseuse? Hmm... If you had good food, I'd rather have a... Yeah, I'd rather have a personal chef, because they can cook for me, say, three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And they can cook good food, healthy food, food I'm gonna like, and it's gonna be good quality food. Personal masseuse... You could pay for one, I'd rather have a personal chef. Somebody knows what I like. And that... Uh, not bad. Don't get me wrong, personal masseuse, I wouldn't mind it, but I prefer a chef. Would you rather do abnormally in public or audibly moan during each conversation you have? Rather, rather have this one. Hello. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'd rather do that because this sounds funny. My name is James. Uh. Right, next one. Would you rather be awake during spine surgery? Oh, I want to hear the bones crunching. Or be awake when they twisted extremely. I'd rather do this one. Because then you can say, oh, I survived this when they put my bone back in place. I'm hard. Yeah. You can say that. But uh, be awake during spine surgery and hear the bones crunching. They didn't say anything about the pain, but even still. Cut off your left hand or right hand. I don't know. See, I want to cut off my left hand because I use my right hand for everything. But I want to cut off my right hand so that I, I can practice my left hand more. I'd rather cut off my left hand. I don't know. But I think not everyone... Would uh, see eight four percent of people are right-handed supposedly, but uh, not everyone would assume you'd be left-handed. Well, I suppose it would if you only got one hand. Like you wouldn't be right-handed if you've got no right hand. Would you rather have a blind date with a homeless person or kiss a homeless person? I've done this one before. Oh, what would I do? I can't remember what I said. Uh, I'd rather have. Yeah, that was it. I was going to click on this one because that way you get to know them on the date and you may understand the situation. Maybe pity on them. You might just not despise them as much or whatever. For the rest of your life, would you rather have all superpowers you want but always be alone, be a normal person but popular? I'd, I'd rather, I'm pretty much that anyway, normal person but popular. I'd say I'm normal and I'd say I've got a decent amount of friends. People like me, I know that. I'd, yeah, I'd do that, to be honest. Yeah. Would you rather launch an atomic bomb or be bombed with an atomic bomb? Hmm, see, what are the effects of having an atomic bomb? Because I've seen that Indiana Jones film. I'd, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'd feel so bad if I launched an atomic bomb. Wait, I know. I'm going to launch an atomic bomb in the desert. Or Area 51, where there's just nothing going on. Because there's no reason why you can't launch an atomic bomb for practice. I don't know what for, why would you want an atomic bomb? And it could be a small atomic bomb. Yeah, launch an atomic bomb, that just sounds brilliant. 80. Perfect. I'm gonna leave this video here. That was really fun. They had some good questions on there, like the uh, Final Destination and so on. But uh, yeah, the, uh, that's a good one. This is really thought provoking. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If there's any content you want me to do, put it in the comments below. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see all you legends next time.